There are some wars you fight, and some wars you walk away from. This is the fighting kind. When I was elected mayor, this was a broken city. Tell me things haven't changed. You know who I am? Yeah. Step by step, I've been getting it fixed. Hello, Roxy. Hey, Russell. Welcome to Palm Beach Rocks. So how's Australia? Australia is good. That's Australia right there, just outside that door. That's real live Australian bush with real live cicadas in it. And actually, that's a, that particular section of bush is the home of the microbat and also of bush turkeys. <laughs> we're, at, we're on my farm. Yay! I'm getting a tour. I love this. I hope you're staying out of the heat. No, I'm loving the heat, mate. I'm solar powered. I need as much of it as I can get. Ha! You've been very busy with four great films out this past year. Which, by the way, I wanted to say I loved you in Le Mans. Cool. Thank you very much. Ah, congratulations on all the great awards and nominations on the film. Yeah, the film's going great and it's going great all around the place too, so that's, uh, that's a lot of fun. Now, in your newest film, Broken City, you play opposite Mark Wahlberg as Mayor Hosteller. Can you tell us about your character and the relationship you have with Mark's character? Well, I play Nicholas Hotstetler, who is a fictional mayor of New York City. And um, my relationship with Mark Wahlberg's character is that uh, I was a big supporter of his. Um, I'm, you know, obviously as the mayor of the city, him being a policeman, I'm essentially his boss. But I'm also the person that removes him from the police force, only to bring him back a while later to do some of my dirty work, shall we say, Roxy. Oh, one thing I have to say about this film, besides that I think it's a must-see movie, is that it has such a twist at the end. I didn't even expect this coming. Yeah, I like that. There's a young fellow, I think he's only about 27, Brian Tucker, the writer of the script. He, uh, he really wrote an exceptional script, so it was, it was a... You know, not, not necessarily a challenging role to, to play on the surface, but in the, given the time frame that I had to, to do it in. But uh, yeah, it was a great script, great characters. And I also understand the work environment on the set must have been incredible. I heard it was shot in something like under 40 days. Yeah, and my, my whole bit is probably less than three weeks, but it was three weeks of night shoots in, um, in New Orleans. So shooting at night so we could get a lot of things done and uh, we didn't have to wait for traffic and all that sort of stuff. So uh, there were long nights, but uh, it was a lot of fun, actually. Great. And I'm sure that the cast you worked with was a lot of fun. You've got Catherine Zeta-Jones. I mean, this is such a great film. Yeah, well, I've been wanting to work for, with Catherine for a long time. We've been friends since the early 90s, he says, showing his age. Um, and Mark Wahlberg, I've actually known for quite a long time as well, because when he first got to prominence with, with Boogie Nights. I was doing the same film festivals with LA Confidential, so we knew each other in passing. Um, there's a lot of great actors in this, Jeffrey Wright and Barry Pepper, Kyle Chandler, uh, Alona Tal, she plays a wonderful role. So, yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoyed the experience all around. It was, it was great to get to work with Catherine, but it was very odd that we weren't uh, playing lovers, which has always been, you know, that was my imagined <laughs> version of us working together. <laughs> There's always got to be a plus in some movies. Absolutely. Ah, so what do you have coming up next, aside from Broken City? Well, Broken City comes out this week, I think, isn't it? And then um, halfway through the year is The Man of Steel, where I play Jor-El, Superman's dad. Um, that's the big new umpteen million dollar rebooting of the Superman franchise. And then um, after that is a thing called Winter's Tale, where I play a demon whose totem is a shark. <laughs> and uh, after that, of, of course, is the biblical epic Noah, where I save all the little furry animals. Ah, uh, yeah, you're going to be my hero. Perhaps. It, it may not be the Noah of your childhood. Oh, is that like what's going on with Hansel and Gretel and how everything is changing now? Well, it's funny that, you know, when you talk to people about the story of Noah, everybody has, seems to have this benevolent understanding of who Noah might be, you know, which I think is directly related to childhood storybooks. You know, and as much as he may have been the person that put all those animals aboard a, a vessel to save them, he's also the person who stood by and watched the entire population of the earth disappear. This is 
system broken, the schools closed, the prisons open. We ain't got nothing to lose. Everybody, we rose. I need a moment. He's a dangerous man, Billy. He only knows people that kill people. And you're gonna walk away. That's the deal, Mary. I suggest you take it.